Advocacy 101, where we are visiting with 101 schools around the country to learn about the impact of government funding on their kids and their schools and communities and to learn about these incredible institutions and what they do for cholesterol. <laughs> My name is Ari Solomon, Executive Director at Hafter. Welcome to our school. How long have you been in Jewish education for? So I've been involved in, in the yeshiva world for probably over 20 years. What, why are you so passionate about it? Um, I guess because I, th there's such a tremendous need to educate our children um, and to make sure that they are brought up in, in, in an environment that fosters the love of Judaism, the love of Eretz Yisrael, and the love of Torah. How long have you been involved in, uh, in Jewish education? <laughs> uh, I think it's been it's been it's been a decade plus now. I'm on the uh, I'm the, on the outside. I get I get the privilege of being involved in every yeshiva. <laughs> Beautiful. The work you guys do is just tremendous and we thank you for it. So I've been here for almost seven to eight years now and we've been, I created the STEM program around seven to eight years ago. We realized that the jobs that were out there, the college degrees that were out there, and what was happening in society is that everything was becoming more automated, more digital. And we weren't teaching our kids those skills. And so we decided a long time ago that that was going to be something that was key and important not just for our students, but for Jewish education in general, so that they could get better jobs and be more successful, be, you know, better Jews in the world. Um, this space, which is large, the reason it's built this way is because we do a lot of robotics. And so we need floor space, we need table space, we need a lot of things combined. This is our, our famous baby over here. This is our high-end uh, 3D printer. This is a MakerBot so that, you know, it's much more independent. This type of machine, you don't have to do that much. So we want students to be more hands-on with it. And for that matter, technologies they're using in the lower school continue with them. So we have another machine exactly like that in our middle school. And we have other machines very similar to that and more complicated than that in our high school. So that they're putting skills in their pocket for later. So this is a machine, for example, that we do not have in lower levels. This is a laser cutting machine. So whereas in 3D printing, they're building from the ground up and putting plastic where they need it to go, this is a machine that takes them down. You can take a larger piece of material and cut it down to size. This is very high-end machinery. We have a larger one of these in the high school. Once they master the skills, they go up higher, for example. Can you talk to um, what the impact um, STEM funding from Albany has on your school and how devastating that would be, not just for the school, but for the kids, if that were to be cut. The funding really does allow us to do incredible things. I mean, not only with regard to some of the tech, but also, I mean, the people in this building are what makes it great. And so it definitely helps tremendously to um, give us the opportunity to have parity with regard to our STEM funding. Um, and it helps us a lot. I mean, it really, it really does help us a lot. Um, and not having it, we would certainly feel that as well. We just saw from some incredible educators about their groundbreaking STEM initiative, STEM Lab, Computer Lab. Uh, we heard about an institution that's been around for over 50 years and is still doing groundbreaking work for Jewish education, uh, for the community, uh, really a staple here in the Long Island for Rockaway area. And just can't thank them enough for giving us a little insight into what they're doing, how it's changing lives. And, um, and as uh, Benny told us about where it, the future is heading which we all have to think about if we're involved in this work. Mm -hmm.